So good morning, welcome to Woman at the Wheel, my YouTube channel. I'm Sue, and I just thought I'd update you where I'm at. Um, it's Tuesday morning, it's about 7.30, so I've got another half an hour before I can get in and deliver the trailer I'm pulling. So I'm sitting on the side of the road um, at a, in the, behind a convenience store, um, waiting for them to get open so I can get in there. And where I'm delivering to, I'm also picking up another trailer and I'm gonna be taking that to Odessa, Texas. Right now, I'm just outside of Atacosta, Texas, which is about, I don't know, 15 miles um, south of San Antonio, Texas. So that's where I'm sitting at the moment. Um, I'm all right off I-35. I-35 is over here behind me. Now, when I leave here, I'll be going back up I-35, about five miles, catching the loop around San Antonio and then cutting off across Texas. I'm not going back up I-35. It was a parking lot yesterday. It took me forever to get here. <laughs> it was stressful in that sense because I was trying to get it here before they closed at five but it didn't happen um, but it's all good they know I'm coming hopefully they'll have the trailer ready for me that I'm going to be taking with me so I don't have to sit and wait a long time on that and I can kind of get around get things done today so I'm only about six six hours from Odessa not quite that five five hours maybe so I'd like to do that and then if I don't get another load I'm just going to go home tonight if I do get another load then I'll have to you know rethink that and figure out where I'm gonna go so we'll see what happens um, then in the meantime I thought I'd kind of catch up on what's been going on as far as this truck because I last week I took it out kind of test ran it had it break down got it fixed everything seems to be okay I mean it's it's gonna do fine I, I really enjoyed driving it yesterday um, just I was just taking it easy. I'm not in that big of a hurry, so I'm not running, you know, 75 and 80 pulling this trailer, which I could if I wanted to, I guess, but there, what's the point? I'm burning extra fuel. Seems kind of senseless when, you, you know, to drive that fast and then just sit in, stop and go traffic on I-35 for three hours, so, you know, I just kind of tried to be a little bit less frenetic about it. So anyway, I had a lot of time to really just kind of appreciate the things that I've, I've done to it so far. One of the things I did was I remounted the camera, and I finally figured out a way to, to stabilize it while I'm going down the road. So we're going to get back to doing road videos. I, I shot one yesterday. I think it's going to be pretty good. Um, the other thing that I did, I mean, I'm in here, you know, 12, 14 hours a day sometimes, or, you know, sitting and waiting or, or driving or whatever. and I listen to the radio all the time when I'm not making videos and I was listening to I have SXM radio which I listen to all the time um, I don't like terrestrial radio so much because it fades out you know when you're moving you only keep that signal for so long so um, I've got nothing against terrestrial radio I just don't don't listen to it on the fly because you can't get a consistent signal so I was running my X SXM radio um, through a little add-on radio that sends out a signal to my FM radio. Well, that wasn't working for me either because my FM bands are, if I was in one place it would probably work because you know you know what FM band is vacant in your area if there is one, but when you're traveling it changes. So I kept having to change the FM on it and it wasn't coming in worth a crap and I thought this has got to, there's got to be a different way to do this. and I, it dawned on me that I already have a different way to do it. I listen to it through my tablet at home, which comes through my phone and my tablet, so why not listen to it through my tablet on the road? So all I needed was a speaker because I don't, the stereo in this is old enough that it doesn't have a patch in where I can plug in to the speakers. So what I did is I found this little nifty speaker. Um, it's an Altec and it, it's just a little guy. The little speaker but it's actually it'll get really loud and it's got a good sound to it so I can set this up on the dash and it's perfect uh, just what I need so that took care of that problem and I got rid of the the old satellite um, controller and all that and so now I'm not even paying on that because when you hook up these radios you pay on a monthly well I'm not even doing that I'm just on my main program for the Ford the other Ford and then I have the app so 
I'm running all this through the through the SXM app, which is part of the deal that I pay for on the Ford. So it works great. So I got that all resolved, and it's less hardware that I've got to have in the truck, which is good because it's less stuff I got to plug in. <laughs> you know, I mean, I have limited places to plug things in, and. Uh, so I've been working all the bugs out of that. So I finally got everything situated where I think I can work with it. And the other thing I did is I really cut down on the amount of stuff that I'm bringing with me. Um, last week, when I, when I first loaded the truck, I mean, I literally had on this passenger side of the truck, I had stuff piled up to the bottom of the window. Um, let's see if I can spin this around for you. I can't really see too much. As you can see now, it's not piled up to the bottom of the window. I've got my stack of books and stuff here and my, my little food thing. I decided not to bring my big um, plug-in cooler this trip. I, it's so big and heavy and cumbersome, it's really hard to get it in and out of the motel rooms and stuff. So this seems to be working okay. I've got little freezer packs that I can put in it. It keeps stuff cool enough, you know, that it's, it keeps it safe. And then I've got, um, of course, just my little bag of clothes and then some, some, my coffee pot and some coffee and dried food and stuff like that. So pretty much got everything fitting in here. My hang-up shirts behind the seat, they, you know, they, they fit behind the seat over here. So everything's, everything's where it should be. And I actually have everything mounted where it's convenient. I got my phone up here on the dash or on the, the windshield. And it's kind of up at the top so I can flip it up out of the way, but I can pop it down and look at it if I need to while I'm driving. So it's not obstructing my view. And then I got my, um, my GPS, got that up here on the dash. And of course my video camera set up, Mr. Rat. I got Mr. Rat, my little traveling buddy. So, you know, some people have cute little critters. I got a rat. There's a story behind that rat. So anyway. <laughs> Um, got my, my electronic logbook here, which if you can see this, this is this is my electronic log. So, and I, I used the electronic log. Now that I'm not required to use an electronic log, I'm basically using it to keep track of my hours. I'm, I'm actually officially using paper logs, which is my preference. Um, because I'm not required to use the electronic logging device with this truck because there's no port for it to plug into. So I can use the ELD if I want to, even though it doesn't plug into the truck. But what I'm using it for is to track my hours because it does a better job at the math than I do. The rules are convoluted. So I just duplicate what I've got on here in my, lo in my paper log. So everything is the same, you know, it's just how whatever I do actually goes on the log. Um, on both logs and that way I've got a backup so if I get inspected I can show them my paper logs because I've got them going back eight days and I don't have to mess with trying to to do you know do anything with the electronic logs I'm not required to in this truck because it's older than the year 2000 if it's 2000 I think it's 2000 or older you don't have to do them because they don't have the port for it to plug into which was one of the reasons I got this truck, I, I didn't want to mess with that anymore. Got tired of dealing with it. So anyway, um, so that's kind of where I'm at. I'm feeling pretty hopeful that I can get all this stuff, um, you know, hopefully get caught up on the on the money end of things. Because I, I took a big hit doing this, taking three weeks off and buying a truck and not selling the other one yet. So I'm still trying to sell the Dodge, um, trying to find a, the right price point for it. I just knocked it down some from what I originally had it. So I think I had it listed too high. I wasn't getting any interest. It's just kind of hard to navigate that. I don't want to give it away. I don't want to let it go too cheap, but I don't want to, you know, ask so much on it that I can't get it sold. So that's a process. Anyway, that's where I'm at, and then this afternoon I'll be doing some road videos going out to Odessa, and uh, that's one of my favorite parts of Texas. I love West Texas. Um, I like the, the scenery and the, the way the land looks and all that. Um, so that's what we'll be doing, and I'll be taking a different route out there than I've ever taken before. Um, I've never taken this route that cuts across 
basically the body of Texas at, a, at an angle to the northwest from San Antonio. So it's going to be real interesting. So I'm looking forward to that. I've still got 20 minutes to wait before they're going to open up. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is sit here and get my paperwork in order and then I'll go get that hitched up and then we'll get rolling and I'll, I'll get back to doing the road videos. So thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for the road videos and I will catch you next time around. Thanks. Bye.